I'll Open the Window by Anna Swear. Our embrace lasted too long. We loved right down to the bone. I hear the bones grind. I see our two skeletons. Now I'm waiting till you leave, till the clatter of your shoes is heard no more. Now, silence. Tonight, I'm going to sleep alone. On the bed claws of purity, aloneness is the first hygienic measure. Aloneness will enlarge the walls of the room. I will open the window, and a large frosty air will come, will enter, healthy as tragedy. Human thoughts will enter, and human concerns. Misfortune of others, saintliness of others, they will converse softly and sternly. Do not come anymore. I'm an animal, very rarely. So, this poem really speaks to me because of the emotions rendered and just the content. This poem explores the not-so-good side of a relationship ending and the loneliness you feel right after. Um, I was in a relationship for f over four years and it turned very unhealthy and I stayed in it much longer than I should. So, I think that's why the first stanza is my favorite and it really just relates to me. Our embrace lasted too long. We loved right down to the bone. I hear the bones grind. I see our two skeletons. By the end of the relationship, I just felt like I was giving and just giving and giving all of me to him. And I loved literally right down to the bone. So that just really spoke to me. Um, so in this poem, she uses a lot of poetic device to convey loneliness and just um, really make you feel her pain. A good line that I think um, shows this is, I hear the bones grind. Imagine the just two bones grinding together. That just makes me feel pain. Um, she does a great job showing aloneness. And first off, she repeats aloneness twice. And then it's each time she uses it in the poem, it has a line to itself. So that just shows how important it is to this poem. This is where she starts to feel alone. The clatter of your shoes is heard no more. Now, silence. So it just makes me hear shoes di distancing itself in the background. And then what's more lonely than just being in silence? Um, so she also says, tonight I'm going to sleep alone. She's alone. She feels alone. Um, aloneness will enlarge the walls of the room. Imagine just feeling so small in a big room. Now, one of the most important parts of this poem is the line where she actually uses the title. I will open the window and the large frosty air will enter. It's like she tries to open the window to let the aloneness out, but instead, all that is welcoming her is frosty air. That just gives me a chill. She uses a paradox in this poem. Healthy as tragedy. Normally you would never think tragedy and healthy would go hand in hand, but in this instance it does. These feelings she's feeling is perfectly healthy and good. She's letting these feelings come to her after this breakup, which is emotional time for her. Um, now, here's interesting lines to me. Human thoughts will enter, and human concerns, misfortune of others, saintliness of others, they'll converse softly and sternly, which is obviously an example of personification, beautifully done, by the way. And um, to me, this really relates, because now that she's alone, she's actually letting her thoughts come to her, and other people's thoughts and concerns are coming to her too, probably her family members, because when I was in my relationship, I was being so stubborn. I didn't, I, I had concerns and I didn't, I didn't listen to them. My family, my friends had concerns. I didn't listen to them until after we broke up. And then I realized that I had all these concerns and all these thoughts, but we're keeping them bottled away. And my friend would tell me things and it would just go in one ear and out the next. So those lines really spoke to me. Now, the last part I want to talk about is do not come anymore. I'm an animal, very rarely. That is how she ends the poem. Wow, that's very strong. Um, 
I think that kind of leaves some interpretation for whoever's reading it. How I interpret it is that he brought out this animal side of her. And I can relate. My ex, he brought out this side of me that I'm, I never saw. And I did, once I was done with him, I did not want him to come around. And I think that's what she's pretty much conveying by the end. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy this poem as much as I did.